Hello everyone from Mafia Island off the coast of Tanzania. This week's Parashat, Parashat Netzavim and Vayelech, we are approaching Rosh Hashanah, we're approaching the high holidays, that's the end of next week. Now with that, the Parsha of Netzavim is always read right before Rosh Hashanah. And we have a few different things that the Torah tells us about the way of tshuva, of repentance, in that journey. One of the things that the Torah tells us about tshuva, it says that if you will if you will go worship idols, then God will have his still panim, God will hide his face from you. What does that mean to hide his face from you? That means God will take a step back and things and things will happen. Now we have a story with David Melech. That David Melech has a son that goes and rebels against him. And when he rebels against him, David writes a song called Mizmor le David Bebarcha Bifnev Shalom Bno. The song of David when he is escaping from his son of Shalom that's trying to kill him. So the question is, well, why are why is he singing a song? Shouldn't he be mourning? Shouldn't this be a psalm that is has a sadder note to it? And the Gemara answers that and says, no, David Melech realizes that the punishment that he's going to get is going to be severe. And there's two options for punishments. First option for a punishment is, is getting slap in the face. And the other option is that I ignore you completely. The ignoring you completely is so extreme and that's what King David is worried about. He's worried that God will no longer have a relationship with him. And what we have in the Parsha is it says that God will take that step back and we won't have this relationship with God if we are worshiping idols. But it also tells us that when we come back, that God will have that relationship with us again. And the word that it uses is vishav, that we will come back. You will come back to God, God will come back to you. What we are looking for is that relationship with God. Even if sometimes it hurts, even if sometimes we need a slap to wake up, even if sometimes we feel like we're being punished, we need to remember that that is better than the alternative of not having the relationship at all. God willing, we should be able to have a good relationship with God and with all of Am Yisrael. Shabbat Shalom.